Humans have limited physical capabilities. But what if technology can enhance these capacities? Our next story is about the world's largest exoskeleton. It can increase the strength of a human by 50 times. We get you more details in our next story. Transformers Power Loader These gigantic machines seen in sci-fi movies have had a great influence on a man in the real world. So much so that he has created one such machine for people like you and me. His name is Jonathan Tippett and his creation is called Prosthesis. It's also referred to as the world's first and largest exoskeleton make suit. So you climb in, it's an electric machine, it's got an electric power plant and it runs hydraulic pumps that actually do the heavy lifting. You, the user climbs in, they slide in through the roof and they strap into an exoskeletal interface which is floating in the middle, it's suspended for safety and comfort. And you're in there, your hands are attached, your arms are attached, your feet are attached, your legs are attached and you're in a body cradle. And as you move your arms and legs, the machine's legs follow your movements. So all it does is follow and amplify your movements. It doesn't have any AI, it doesn't have any gyros or balancing, it doesn't make any decisions for you. This invention weighs 4,000 kilograms. It's 100% electric powered. The 10 feet tall machine is entirely controlled by humans. Prosthesis has no joysticks, no steering wheel and no foot pedals. It's operated by the user with his hands, arms, legs, and feet movements. You'd be surprised to know that this electric mechanical suit amplifies the pilot's strength by 50 times. Canadian artist and mechanical engineer aims to expand the scope of human experience. How? By giving people the size and strength of giants. Tippett has a grand plan. He wants to use this invention to start an entirely new sport, a global mech racing league. The sport would involve five or six athletes operating mech suits and going shoulder to shoulder on huge technical race courses. It would push things out of the way and overcome obstacles. And if it excites you and you want to be a mech pilot, you could sign up for a training course provided by the company. The company offers solo as well as group training sessions at its property in Canada. Uh, anyone can sign up from training. Just go to our website, exosapien.tech, and there's a pilot training button right there. Uh, we have trained people as small as five foot two and as tall as six foot four. As long as you're able-bodied and you can climb onto the machine and into the machine, that's kind of the only limit. Uh, there's a 250 pound weight limit, um, but anyone can do it. Man, woman, young, old, big, small. Uh, that's the beauty of the technology is that it amplifies your own strength. You don't have to be big or strong or fit to do it. There's a whole variety of training packages. 1500 bucks gets you a 90 minute training session. 3500 bucks gets you a whole half day, which usually is enough for people to start lifting feet and stomping on things. Uh, for $14,900, you get a three-day immersive package where you actually learn on the machine all day, every day, for three days long. Usually people can get to the point where they're taking some steps and walking at that point. Or we have a five-day package, which is like taking that to the next level, and that's $19,900. $19, there are other plans too. Tippett plans to build more mechanical suits. The technology and the cost to create the mech suits is still high. This machine was sort of built over decades with tons of work from volunteers, tons of donated parts. It's impossible to put a cost on it. Sometimes I say 14 years of my life. We estimate we could reproduce this machine for about a million dollars. Um, maybe three quarters of a million. So, you know, we would sell it for probably a uh, markup of 100%. So if you wanted to just, you can actually buy this machine online right now at gm.co for $1.75 million. But he hopes the second generation model will be much cheaper than the first iteration. 
His vision is to make make suits as common as all-terrain vehicles, ruggedized and more powerful. He would love to see them used in the future, not only for fun, but also in sectors such as mining, agriculture, search and rescue, and disaster response. We see potential uses for this in forest firefighting, disaster response, um, possibly agriculture, uh, construction, mining. Anytime where wheels and tracks are not sufficient, where you're in a, a dynamic, changing, uh, challenging environment to move around, this thing will carry a payload of 2,000 pounds. Uh, and the technology, the fundamental motion control technology we have, could be applied to any kind of arm or leg. So well, you could build a two-legged machine with arms that wielded chainsaws or jaws of life. The uh, you know, possibilities are endless, really.